A city councillor in India says she has a way to stop the number of violent assaults against women in that country. She's suggesting the city of Mumbai ban stores from putting scantily clad mannequins in their windows. Sean Mallon has more. In one of India's most cosmopolitan cities, this method of marketing clothing is under fire. Mumbai's municipal council has passed a resolution that proposes to bar stores from what some say are provocative displays on mannequins. The politician spearheading the move argues that they both degrade women and inspire men to sexual assault. Such people get provoked by the mannequin, says Councillor Ritu Tade. After all, a mannequin is a replica of a woman's body. It does not suit Indian culture. In her constituency, the idea has found support. I have heard boys making lewd comments like, we want to wear lingerie while looking at the mannequin, says this woman. India has been shaken by notorious stories of sexual assault. Most shockingly, the young woman who was gang raped and killed on a bus in New Delhi last December. It provoked nationwide protests, with many saying that the criminal justice system has been failing abysmally to protect women. There have also been several high-profile attacks on foreigners, including this past week in the northern resort town of Manali. A 30-year-old American woman was raped by three men in a truck after she accepted a lift. In the face of such serious crimes, store owners say it's foolish to focus on how mannequins are dressed. A mannequin hardly makes any difference to the people, neither it creates any kind of a crime or it does lead to any kind of a rape. The ban on racy mannequins is not yet in effect, awaiting final approval from a municipal commissioner. Even if it happens, stores will still be able to display clothes the way they want, as long as they keep them inside, away from the windows. Sean Mallon, Global News, London.